Congratulations. This is the Mega Million Sweepstakes Enterprise. You have been selected a randomly luckily winner of $2,500,000 certified check. In our giveaway promotion raffle, dial 5 to speak to a live representative. Press 1 to leave a message. Mega Million Company, John Roberts is speaking. How are you today? I, I'm fantastic. The, the, the message said I won. Is that right? Yeah, you have won the lottery. Congratulations. Holy crap, that's awesome. How do I get my money? Yeah, your money will be delivered to you by FedEx. All that you're required to do as the winner. Okay. Take care of a fee, a tax process and delivery fee to receive your winnings. Okay. Take care of your payment. How how much payment how much how much is the tax fee? Well it's all told out to four hundred dollars you're required to pay. Four hundred dollars. Wow. Okay. That's that's fantastic. I pay four hundred dollars and I get a check for two million? Yeah, two point five million. Holy crap, holy crap. Okay, well, how, how do I go about paying this $400? Do I write you a check, or how, how can we do it? Well, you could visit uh, any drugstore or pharmacy near you and purchase a gift card, a $400 gift card. A gift card? What do you mean, a gift card? Like, a gift card for what? Yeah, to redeem your prize. Okay, what, what kind of gift card? Like a Visa card, or or like or like or like a like a like a Best Buy card, or a you know something like that. Yeah, Visa Vanilla gift card you're gonna purchase. It has to be a Visa gift card. What about one of the Mastercard gift cards? I don't I don't know if the price if the cost to get one of it is different. A Visa, Vanilla. Visa one, okay. Visa, Visa. Okay. Visa and then what do I do after that? Do I call you back as soon as I have it, or what? Yeah, call me back as soon as you have it. Okay. Okay. What what is your number, please? Okay. Okay. And then he hung up. Do you believe that? He hung up on me. I tried calling the number back and it, it was not a dis it was not a, a valid number, so anyway, hopefully they'll call again. This is only maybe my third, fourth, fifth, maybe sixth or seventh time that they've called me to let me know I've won the lottery. Man, I really need that money. Ignores us. Hello? Hi, my name is Jackson. I am calling from Health Protection. How are you doing today? You're calling from where? We received your information for the Medicare enrollment. So just when it confirmed, do you have Medicare card and we just, you know? I'm sorry, where are you calling from? I'm calling from Health Protection. Health Protection? I've never heard of that. What exactly is that? Okay, repeating the name doesn't answer the question. What exactly does health protection do? Hi, my name is Jackson. Yes, I know. You've told me your name already and that you're from health protection. Hi. Yes, sir. Am I talking to a robot or a real person? Because you keep repeating the same things over and over again. Okay, okay. Are you a... Are, are you a real person? Hi, my name is Jackson. Yes, yes. I am calling, I am calling from Health Protection. How are you? I'm Where sorry, you? I, I didn't hear what you said. Could you repeat that again, please? Hi, my name is Jackson. I am calling from Health Protection. Okay, I'm sorry. You need to speak up. Say it one more time. I can't believe I got her to repeat her name four times. Man, they're hiring dumber and dumber call center people. Hello? Hello? Yes, hello? Hi, my name is Mary. My name is Mary and I'm calling you on behalf of Lifeline. How are you? I am sorry, what did you say your name was? My name is Mary. Mary, okay. 
How can I help you? And I'm, I'm calling you on behalf of Lifeline. It's a fully funded program which is providing free cell phones along with unlimited free internet. And I am calling you today just to confirm that you are eligible to get free phone and free internet and it will be fully funded by federal government. Which federal government? Federal government of New York. Of the federal government of New York? Yes. Is that what you said? Yes. Oh, okay. The federal government of New York. Gotcha. Yes, sir. So, uh, can you please confirm me that if you are on any government assistance program like food stamps, Medicaid, medical? Now, does it matter if I don't live in New York? Because I don't live in New York. No, sir. Uh, just uh, free cell phone and along with unlimited internet. You, uh, okay, so I'm gonna get free internet or a free cell phone with free internet from the United from the United the government of New York, but I don't live in New York. Okay, that doesn't make any sense to me. You sure it's not the U.S. government of Florida? Because that's where I live is in Florida. Okay. It, or is that a different program? Well, no, I'm absolutely interested, but I don't want it from the U.S. government of New York. The U.S. government of New York. Brain surgeons is what I'm dealing with. Brain surgeons. Wonderful. Hello? Yes, uh, good morning. I would like to speak with Carl Walter. Yes, what are you calling about? Yes, Mr. Walter, the only purpose for my call today, sir, you might be eligible for getting your reimbursement refund on your Medicare Part B premiums. It's for the last quarter of the year. And have you been reimbursed, Mr. Walter, or not yet, on your Part B Medicare? I, I haven't received any type of reimbursement. When was I supposed to get it? Oh, because the reimbursement, sir, is due to the new state regulations and what we call the give back for all the Medicare recipients like you and your potential savings on your Medicare. And uh, Mr. Walter, upon checking here, that you still have your Medicare A and B still active, correct? Yes, yes, of course I do. Thank you. And are you in the right zip code here in Florida? 34483 zip code. So yes. So resident here. Yes. Thank you. So what my job today, Mr. Walter, is only to pre-qualify you in this. So not all the recipients are eligible for this. And the people who are not eligible for this are the people uh, get uh, help from TRICARE, that is a military health plan. Or a retirement health from your former employer. Are you receiving those or no? Mr. No, Walter? no, I was never in the military. Thank you. And no retirement health from your former employer, right? No, no. just, 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 just my Medicare. All right, that's great, sir. And Mr. Walter, everything looks good here. And you know the possibility or the big chance on your potential uh, savings on your Medicare Part B is gonna to one hundred seventy-four dollars and seventy cents, Mr. Walter. Okay. And, it will be determined and verified by a medical advisor or a licensed medical specialist in the area in Florida. So this would be a pre consultation so you are not losing anything here. Okay? So any questions, Mr. Walter? Do I need to speak to somebody else or are you going to handle this? Uh, exactly. I will be connecting it to a medical advisor in the area in Florida. So they will help you provide your answer if you have, uh, I mean, your questions. All right, what is, what's the telephone number that I can call them directly? Because I'm, I'm actually in the middle of something right now, so let me call them when I have a chance. What number do I need to call in order to talk to them? Okay, um, how about I will transfer you over them? Mr. No, Walter, why don't you just give me the number and I'll call them at my convenience. What's the number? I cannot give you the number, Mr. Walter. Because you can't I give me the have... number for the, for the licensed Medicare advisor? What, what, what do you mean you can't give me the number? That is why I will be connecting you to the line, Mr. Walter. Just we'll give me their the telephone screen. number, please, so I can call them later. Stop wasting my time and give me their number, please. Mr. Walter, my only job is to connect you over them, so I don't have the right number. Okay, so once I will connect you to a medical advisor in your area, you can ask them directly. Okay, hold on a second. Hold on a second. You're telling me that you have to transfer me to a Medicare advisor. You either exactly. don't know the number or you can't give me their number, is what you're telling me. 
Exactly, because my only job is to transfer over them. Your only this job is, is to goal. transfer. Will you suck at your job? Go ahead and do it. Hurry it up so I can ask them these questions that I need answered. You are such a piece of crap waste of my time. Hurry up. Transfer Sorry. me. No. Transfer me. No. No? Sorry. Now you're not going to transfer me. Well, thank you so much for your time, Mr. Walter. I did not transfer those uh, receipts. So what you're telling me uh, is if dad. you're telling me is if you cannot transfer me, you will not help me. If you are not the one to physically transfer my call to the agent, you will not help me. Is that that's what you're telling me? Are you still there? Yes, I'm listening, Mr. So Walter. you're so you're saying. You don't get credit for the call if you don't do the transferring, right? Which means if I called them directly, you just wasted five minutes of your time, right? Mr. Walker, yes. I will do it quick. Just You'll do it quick? Hard. I thought you already said you weren't going to do it. I thought, I thought you already said no, you weren't going to do it. Now you're going to tell me you're going to do it quick? How long have I wasted waiting for you to transfer me? Okay, I'm sorry. You should. And you should be sorry. And he hung up. And then he hung up. Didn't even take. Didn't even do the transfer. If they get paid based on the transfer and how long you talk to the license agent, then he just wasted all that time on me because he didn't transfer me. They're despicable. Give me the telephone number and I'll call myself. Oh no 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 no! We can't do that. We've got to be the ones to transfer you. That way they can listen in on the call and hear all your personal information. They do that as well. Hey everybody, and thanks a lot for checking out the video. If you like the content, click the subscribe button and hit the bell for notification. Leave us a comment. Let us know what you think. Thumbs up, thumbs down, either way, and we'll catch you all next time.